Have you ever wondered what questions a narcissist might ask before hooking you back in? This question may seem unusual, but it's an important one. Narcissists with their knack for manipulation have a unique way of pulling you back into their sphere of influence, and it often starts with seemingly innocent questions. These questions, however, aren't as harmless as they appear. They're actually cleverly disguised tactics meant to assess your emotional state, test the waters for their return, and subtly manipulate you. Understanding this is crucial. It's not about paranoia, but about awareness. Awareness that can help protect your emotional and mental well-being. So what might these questions look like? And how can you spot them when they come your way? Stay tuned as we take a deep dive into the cunning world of narcissists and their manipulation tactics. Let's dive into the 10 questions a narcissist might ask before hooking you back in. The first question a narcissist might ask is, have you been thinking about me? This isn't just idle curiosity, it's a calculated move to gauge your lingering feelings for them and validate their own sense of importance. It's as if they're saying, I'm so crucial to your life that you can't help but think about me, right? But remember, it's not about you, it's about them. Moving on, the second question could be, I heard you've been doing something positive. Are you happy now? This might seem like a sincere inquiry on the surface, but don't be fooled. It's a disguised jab that can mask jealousy or a desire to undermine your happiness. They might be trying to say, you can't possibly be happy without me, can you? Thirdly, they might say, I'm so sorry about what happened, can we talk about it? Now, this might sound like an apology, but it often lacks genuine accountability. It's a crafty way to reopen communication lines for manipulation. They're essentially saying, I'm sorry not because I've genuinely changed or feel remorse, but because I want something from you. The fourth question might be, how are things with your current partner or your friends or your family? It seems innocent enough, right? But it's a clever probe into your current support system and potential vulnerabilities they can exploit. They're trying to find out, who can I push aside to get closer to you? Lastly, they may ask, do you ever miss the good times we had? This question is a potent tool for romanticizing the past and minimizing the hurt they caused. It appeals to your nostalgia and could rekindle emotional attachment. They're asking, you miss me, don't you? You miss how things used to be. So those are the first five questions a narcissist might ask before hooking you back in. Each one is designed to serve their agenda, subtly manipulating your emotions and perceptions. Now that we've covered the first five questions, let's move on to the next five. The sixth question a narcissist might ask is, I'm in such a bad place right now. Can I lean on you for support? This is a cunning ploy, playing on your inherent empathy and willingness to help. It's a trap designed to draw you back into their drama and emotional dependency. Moving on to the seventh question, everyone else has forgiven me, why can't you? Here they are deflecting blame and guilt-tripping you. This technique attempts to pressure you into reconciliation regardless of your own needs or feelings. They're not asking for forgiveness, they're demanding it. The eighth question, I've changed so much, don't you want to give me another chance, is another manipulation tactic. Promises of change are often empty and are aimed at manipulating your desire for closure or belief in their potential. This question is an effort to lure you back into the same damaging cycle. The ninth question, are you seeing anyone else now, reveals their possessiveness and desire for control, even after ending the relationship. This is not a simple curiosity, it's a way for them to keep tabs on you and to ensure that they still have some form of control over your life. Lastly, the tenth question, is there anything I can do to win you back, subtly pressures you to take responsibility for their manipulative behavior. It's a bait, offering false promises in an attempt to lure you back into the relationship. These are just some of the questions a narcissist might ask to gauge your receptiveness and potential for manipulation. Each one is designed to test the waters to see if you're open to their return. But remember, these questions are rarely innocent. They are carefully crafted to serve the narcissist's agenda. So before responding, take time to reflect on your feelings, analyze their past behavior, and prioritize your own well-being. You are not obliged to fall for their charm or empty promises. But remember, narcissists are skilled manipulators. Their questions are rarely innocent and often serve their own agenda. As you navigate these fraught interactions, it's essential to prioritize your mental health and emotional well-being. Start by taking a moment to reflect on your feelings. Are you feeling anxious, guilty, or obligated? These could be signs of attempted manipulation. 
Next, don't forget the past. Analyze their previous behavior. Have they used similar tactics before? Do they have a pattern of breaking promises or avoiding accountability? If so, tread with caution. Above all, prioritize your well-being. It's okay to maintain clear boundaries and say no when necessary. You're not responsible for their feelings or actions, and it's not your job to fix them. Be wary of their charm and empty promises. They may seem sincere, but remember their history of manipulation. Don't let a narcissist's manipulative tactics compromise your well-being or happiness. Let's quickly recap the 10 questions a narcissist might ask before hooking you back in. They may ask if you've been thinking about them or if you found happiness without them. Subtly testing your emotional state, they may feign remorse for past actions or probe into your current relationships, all designed to assess your vulnerability. They may attempt to romanticize past experiences or appeal to your empathy to draw you back into their world. They may deflect blame, promising change while simultaneously exerting control, and finally they may try to pressure you into taking responsibility for their actions, offering false promises to lure you back. These questions are rarely innocent and often serve the narcissist's agenda. Recognizing these tactics is crucial in protecting yourself from manipulation. Remember to prioritize your own well-being, maintain clear boundaries, and be wary of falling for their charm or empty promises. Ultimately, you deserve healthy relationships built on respect and genuine care. Don't let a narcissist's manipulative tactics compromise your well-being or happiness.